The war in Ukraine is quickly escalating into a wider horror. And from what I can see, practically nobody in this chamber is doing anything to prevent it. In fact, most people seem to get off on the fact that it's escalating. And at this precise moment, of course, as usual, the voices challenging the rush to war are attacked and silenced, smeared as traitors, cronies, Putin puppets, Kremlin stooges, Russian ages. Frankly, it's pathetic. And I don't make the comparison lightly, but the crudeness and cynicism of these slurs coming from mainstream EU parties might as well have been written by Hermann Goring, who infamously said that even though people never want war, they can be brought to war with threats and smears. He said, all you have to do, tell them they're being attacked, denounce the pacifists for lack of patriotism and exposing their country to danger. It works the same every way. Where he led, you are following. This House should be ashamed of this debate. Words are being twisted, meaning subverted, and the truth turned on its head. Opposing the horrible madness of war is not anti-European. It's not anti-Ukrainian. It's not pro-Russian. It's common sense. The working class of Europe have nothing to gain from this war and everything to lose. And I find it laughable that those calling for arms to Ukraine never call for arms for the people of Palestine or for the people of Yemen. Unlike you, I oppose all war. I want it stopped. I make no apology for that and I'm not going to be scapegoated and labelled for it either.